and Saul answered and said, am, and, and said, am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel? Now look, if this ch chart was insignificant, these guys, oh, oh, these, Saul knew that he was from that tribe. Okay, he knew he was from that tribe. So if that tribe was insignificant, why would he quote that? Okay, all throughout the Bible, there was different, um, um, the tribes were mentioned. Even our Lord, um, the Messiah is from the tribe of Judah. So how are you gonna get rid of that? Okay, how are you gonna come up and, and say that we shouldn't be using that chart on the street because we don't know who we are. But when you have, if you had faith, you would use that. Oh, not in the chart. But if you had faith in the words of Yahweh, you would use that, okay? Because that's how I met brothers that was from a so-called Mexican when we was all banging on each other. Now we became peace, okay? And we started eating with each other. When they was on the right of the court, one brother is a so-called Mexican. He could be from the tribe of Mexico. He could be from the tribe of, um, well, I think he was from um, El Salvador. But some of them could be collected to the Mayan Indians, I believe, okay? But if we didn't know each other, we would have been banging on each other. He'll tell you that, okay? So that chart brought peace and unity as a family. Now we know each other and we know that we A alike. We got certain things. We like to dance. We like to drink. You know what I'm saying? We like the um, certain foods, okay? All that, okay? And we got certain spirits that was like that, that's um, certain spirits that um, resemble each other, okay? That's not a coincidence. And then we know this and then we become friends and we would drink together and we would talk together, okay? Instead of looking at him, oh, he's from the east side of LA or whatever that bullshit is, I don't really follow that. Now we become brothers. He's El Salvadorian, but he's not a so, and I'm a so-called um, African-American, but we brothers. And that, that, that um, misnomer doesn't, break us up. That misnomer is nothing now. We know that we are the same people, okay? So now you want to kick away the chart. How do I introduce that into people that come up and ask me and say, can y'all tell me what this means? <laughs> that's what the charts, that's what the Bible says. Can you tell me what this means? Now, you could say this, we don't know where we at because we scattered abroad, okay? Due to oppression, we don't know where we fit at exactly, but that's real. And that is the truth because Yahweh shall said it in Matthew 10, chapter 5 and 6, and also what? What I just gave you. I gave you um, Matthew 10, 5 and 6, and Matthew 15, 24. And then I gave you 1 Samuel, with, that even Samuel said that he was a Benjamite. He, he connected to that tribe. And Yahweh shall said he came from the tribe, he came from that nation of the people for two sticks and joined them together. Okay? So you got new niggas that want to come out with the see death doctrine and they want to come out with this and say that's not true. Don't listen to that, okay? These guys are agents and they've been given, they've been they trying to come up with these new doctrine because they're trying to get, they're trying to be bought out, okay? And then you got folly niggas that heard that they're going to get a check. Fat boy go wherever, anybody, you give him a kibbles and bits and he'll eat anything. He'll go wherever, whatever, he goes with anybody, with any doctrine or when, he'll go with that. So you don't want to be around guys like that because they can't stand on their own. They need other niggas for energy. Watch. And see, this is what the men of Yahweh, this is what Yahweh Shah is looking for. Great men like this, a few great men, like a few, like the army. We're looking for a few great men. Yahweh Shah is looking for a few great men. And he ain't looking for niggas that can't make it. Oh, as soon as, soon as you hear some gunshots when you're in the wilderness, blah, 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 blah. you seen the, some of the army movies and these niggas break. They start panicking and shit like that. And it would be the big mouth. The big mouth. The big mouth would always say, act tough and act cocky. When you see some of them, um, the army pictures, and when 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 the fight when the action takes place, gunshots and, the, and they gotta shoot it out with the people. This nigga start falling back. Niggas start falling back. Start being scared. The one that you thought that was gonna be about it, big mouth. Okay, one that don't have his own mind, he falls apart. He falls apart. You like what the? F Yo, what happened to this big nigga? Big for nothing. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh is looking for a few good men, and those are the elect men of Israel who's in the battlefield, who can stand alone in truth, 
okay? They don't need another man doctrine to make them who they are. This ain't about that. They don't need another man doctrine to make him who he is or to find him. You need to, you need to find yourself in, in Yahweh Shah. Okay, that's who you need to find yourself in, not what other men telling you what to do or dictating what you to do. That ain't no man. Some of you are men with maxi pads on. That's what you are. You are men with maxi pads on. And you're bleeding. It's the time of your month when you let out doctrines like that. Now, that's it on that. I get, Those are two scriptures that I get. get baby scriptures. Okay? Three scriptures I gave you on that. Answer that. And I ain't talking about you big head bone, bone um, dummies. I'm talking about people I want you to think. Okay? Who did Yahweh shall come for according to Matthew 10, 5, and 6? If the chart don't believe and those people are not on that chart. Matthew 15, 24. I come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's a nation. Samuel said, I come from, um, uh, was it Samson? Samson said, I come from, um, what was that, First Samuel? It's, I'm sorry, excuse me, Salakia. I said, in First Samuel, it says in 21, 1 Samuel 9 and 21, and Saul answered and said, am I not a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribe of Israel? You can't pick and choose what's significant and what's not, nigga. Niggers. Because that's all y'all getting together as, together as a bunch. You can't pick that. Who is he talking about? An invisible tribe? Who is he talking about? An invisible tribe? <clears throat> so listen, we say that because we try to identify even though we lost, but we got faith that Yahweh shall say that he came from the tribe of Judah. He said, I come from, everybody no, no he, everybody says that I know the Lord stemmed from the tribe of Judah. So what is this, is an invisible thing that don't exist because you niggas are saying that? Because which one is it? Which one is it? You tell me, which one is it? Next. Back to Matthew. Matthew chapter 3. Take a little water. Yep. Yeah. 